All right, in our next part, we're going to apply a plane to the bottom of the windmill. You may have to resize your windmill if you made it too big, but I'm just going to make a nice plane here. And you know what? I think I'm just going to make the plane bigger. We'll just make the plane a little bit bigger. There we go. All right. So now we're actually going to go over to the extended uh, the modify panel and we're going to look in our list for it to say hair and fur it's up top and when we click on hair and fur it's actually going to put hair and fur here now if you need to adjust the settings you can do cut length you can decrease the length here now, do not increase the hair count too much. You can decrease a little bit, but don't increase it too much because if you're not on a really big, a really good computer, much like the Wake County computers, you may have problems actually getting this to uh, to display. I'm, I'm using a, a 10 core with a 1660 Ti, so it's not struggling too much, but you don't want to do this too much. Um, you can up it a little bit. And you'll notice how it gets a little bit heavier. But again, the, the more you do this, the, the harder it's going to be to render. Okay, then we just want to create a box. We're actually going to create a barn. So we're just going to put a box out here. On our corner out here. All right, and then we're going to get kind of creative here a little bit. We're going to put a pyramid on top to be our roof. So I'm actually going to go into my top view. As you can see here, so we're going to put a pyramid on this. We may have to move it around a little bit, but we'll start here. We'll click it up a little bit. It looks pretty good. We may have to do, a, again, a little bit of resizing here. All right, let's bring it up in the left view. Get it all nice and lined up. That's pretty good. Um, you know what? I'm going to increase the size of it just a little bit. I'm not quite happy with it. Eh, maybe decrease it ever so slightly. Kind of works. All right, let's make it a little brown, make it look like a nice roof, maybe. And we'll make this look like a nice little barn. So I'll make it a little barn here. Okay, so now you can do a couple different things here. So one of the things we want to do, I'm going to stick a box in in the top view. See if we can make a little bit of a window. All right, let's move it where it needs to go. We don't want it to appear too far out here. So we'll bring it up. Back it off ever so slightly. Make it blue. And then that'll be our box. And that kind of looks, begins to look like a window. If we click off, now you can kind of see how it looks. starts to look like a window. Okay, now we're just going to see if we can make a door. So we're just going to get like a really small box and can get kind of the same thing in the top view. And I kind of make it uh, be about that size. And that's a little too big, so I'm actually going to shrink that down. And again, this is just kind of how, how you think a, a door would look. So... Again, we want to move it in, and you don't really do this in the perspective much, but just so we can see it and how it looks. That's pretty good. Maybe a door color now. We'll give it a nice door color. I don't know. Maybe that's a nice door color. Okay. Again, just try to line it up a little bit. And then last but not least, you can use other boxes. You can use other shapes, but I'm just going to create like a nice little box to kind of give it, you could do like a little outline here. So I'm just going to really shrink this down. And just kind of make it look like the doors are a little hole here. Make this be just a little bit bigger. 
There we go. And you can kind of make these however you want. Let's give it some examples here. We'll shrink it on down. Pull it down on the Z just a little bit. Make it line up. Okay. Next, we're going to copy this. And this one, I'm actually going to rotate about 45 degrees this way. Just trying to make some some nice door angles here. Once we have this, we can copy it. Then we're going to do the same thing. Just copy out this way. Just to kind of make it look like it's got some nice angled stuff here. So we're going to copy this down and then extend it out the same way. So we're going to do 45 here. Again. Close enough. Extend this out this way. Make it look pretty good. There's easier ways to do this, but you can kind of make it look like it has nice doors. Again, it's not perfect, but looks okay. Looks kind of cool. And so now we have our door. We have our roof. Might even put a sign out. So figure out how to put a sign using a text plus and that should do it. That should be a 